just for tutorial loss loss scale on dual GPU, here you go. First, yes, you can mix AMD, Nvidia and Intel GPUs, but AMD and Intel cards actually perform better than Nvidia and loss loss scaling frame generation. They have a better FP16 performance, and cheaper. So if you're getting second GPU just for this, uh, go with the Radeon. Step 1. Install both GPUs, your main GPU, the one that will run the game, goes in the top PCIe x16 slot. The secondary GPU is standard for frame generation, goes into the lower slot, like putting your last priorities in the right place. Too bad my ended up in the trash slot. Now check your motherboard specs, just go your motherboard model or check the manual, you need to know how many PCIe lens each slot gets. If either GPU runs on anything below PCIe 3x4, don't bother. At PCIe 3x4 you good up to around 1440p 180fps, PCIe 4x4 gives you in more headroom like 4k 165fps. Also keep in mind your CPU might not support enough PCIe lens. On many setups using more than one in MMU drive can disable your second PCIe slot entirely. For example, I'm running a 7800X3D, which has 24 PCIe lens and only one NVMe, so I'm fine. Next, plug your monitor into the secondary GPU, the one doing frame gen. If you don't, it won't work properly. It's recommended to use GDU to clean your GPU drivers and reinstall both if you're using a mix of Nvidia and Radeon GPUs. Then go into Windows Settings, Display, Graphics and set your main rendering GPU as default. On Windows 10 users will need a registry tweak. Check the lossless scaling subreddit for details. In the lossless scaling app go into Settings, GPU and Display and select your secondary GPU. A few final tips, don't enable frame generation if your base FPS is under 60. These are fake frames, the game will still feel like 60. I personally don't use frame gen unless my base FPS is 90 or higher. When you actually feel the smoothness, but it's not so obvious that your base FPS is lower. You are also limited by PCIe bandwidth. The more you have, the higher your potential frame rate. And obviously, make sure your power supply can handle 2 GPUs. Follow for more, got questions? Leave a comment. <laughs>